Next, uh, Patrick Murray. Hi, Patrick Murray from Forbes Sports here. I'm just wondering, um, obviously the All-Star Game is a great kind of celebration of the NBA family, but at the end of this, uh, at the end of this season, we're going to have the Olympics. Is that something that's on your mind? And are you kind of keen to participate and maybe get that gold medal that's currently one of the few things you haven't won? Yeah, it's been on the radar, obviously, you know, going into the last summer before it was, post it was postponed and, you know, right now there's a lot that's uh, a lot of questions, obviously, in terms of how, you know, things will be uh, put together for the Olympics and timing and, and coming out of this season, which is, you know, an, a, a different experience for, for us as NBA players with the schedule and all that. So um, I'm kind of just staying patient right now and, and talk to a lot of people from USAB. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll Closer to hopefully answer that question whether I want to play or not. Um, it's just right now there's a lot there's a lot going on in terms of the second half of the NBA season, which is obviously the priority right now. Uh, Christian Politai from Rutu, Finland. Yes, hi. Uh, thank you, Steph. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Christian Palotia with Ruutu in Finland. Comparisons are always made between players with similar skill sets, like yourself with former greats like Pete Maravich and Mahmoud abdur Rauf. But especially some of us Europeans often feel like you're kind of an evolution of Juan Carlos Navarro, especially when it comes to your ability to, to relocate and the audacity to take and make ridiculous shots at times. Is he someone you've drawn inspiration from, or is that something that Europeans have just made up? No, when uh, I've played against him a couple of or... I think one time in international basketball and I've seen a lot of film and his creativity his like you said, his, his shot selection, um, just his rhythm on the floor. I, it, it jumps off the screen and, you know, when you play against him. So uh, I've seen him take the one footed threes and like you said, all his moving all, all around the floor um, and, and learned a little, you know, a little bit in terms of something that I could implement into my game. Um I've tried the one for threes a couple of times, made a couple. So definitely some inspiration there. And, uh, you know, any guy that you can kind of see yourself in when they're out there on the floor, you obviously pay attention to. And, and there's a, an opportunity every time to kind of expand your skill set by, you know, what you see other guys do. Um, so definitely he's been on my radar for sure. Uh, 